What's good, Liberators? Fingers here, and this is DX2 Demon Review, and today we are talking about a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. And by that, I mean we are talking about the hero, Yoshitsune. And no, it is not a dirty word. Though, if you, even even in Japanese, it sounds like it'd, it'd be like a curse word of some sort, right? You just say, Toya Yoshitsune! But I digress. A Japanese shogun in the late Heian era, younger brother of Minamoto no Yoritomo, and well known for his childhood name, Ushiwaka Maru. With his brother, he won great glory as he finally defeated the Taira clan at the Battle of Danoura. Okay, historical badass and the OG gotcha exclusive. As for the stats, decent strength, not great, decent, workable, yes. 198 off rip, pump that up to 218. Go explosive at 238 if you want to run wild with it. He's also got a decent enough agility stat, at least for a heavy hitter. Generally speaking, heavy hitters don't have great agility. Now, it's like the higher the agility goes, usually the strength comes down accordingly. So you can't abuse that too, too much, generally speaking. But you can crank that agility up to 182, which is something I would highly recommend and dumping those last 10 mitamas into vitality or luck hey go with whatever your heart tells you and as you can see i've got him branded now and you can spike his physical attack up over 2000 and this is probably where you're gonna you're gonna be sitting unless you go full sin infusion on his strength getting 2000 is probably Peak peak performance, 2,000, 2,100 is probably the highest you're going to be able to get. And he resists physical, which we, as we all know, is useless. He knows light and dark, which, as we all know, is basically useless. For the skills, the transferable Vorpal Blade, a badass sweeping physical strike with the power of 140, but alas... Yoshitsune does not have a natural physical pierce. He has a skill with physical pierce on it, but this ain't it. So this is why he's largely fallen out of favor in PvP. Because if your physical demon can't pierce, he ain't much of a physical demon. And with the way PvP is set up, 4v4, his unique skill, Hasutobi, is a multi-target attack. So... Unless you've got that one enemy there that it can shred to pieces, its damage will spread out and be so random and lackluster that there are just demons that do it better. So when you got those four demons out there, you know, the fight's just starting, you got to turn one going, you know, you would want to use Vorpal Blade, right? Hit them all, hit them all hard, power of 140. But alas, no physical pierce, so that option is out because... I can't remember the last time I saw a team that didn't have at least one demon that null, drained, repelled physical attacks. It's just too common in this day and age. And for his second skill, Mana Aid, which recovers 10 MP when clearing a wave. And this skill is what makes Yoshitsune the support demon of choice for literally everything you build him properly he can solo every exp leveling quest so you can help out all the people on your friends list solo every exp battle they could possibly want you can throw him on any brands of sin maximum level hardest difficulty and he will deliver there, honestly there's really no in, in my humble opinion there's no one better to have as a support demon than Yoshitsune. Yoshitsune is always my sport demon, unless there is an event with those SP tags, and not these new ones where the SP gain 
that you get is just so pointless because you wound up getting maximum rewards with very little effort. You don't really need any extra, but you know the ones I'm talking about, the hardcore SP gathering events. Then and only then do I swap him out. Otherwise, Yoshi stays there to help everyone get through those leveling quests, get through those brands of sin encounters with minimal difficulty and i would recommend if you've got a yoshi make him a little badass put him on that friends list and your friends will be eternally grateful as for his unique skill hasu toby inflicts physical damage eight times on random enemies and this skill will have a pierce effect and if you pump it up this is a this is a funny one to level up. As you level it up, oh, 10% of physical hit rate, 15% of physical hit rate, 20% of physical oh, great, great, great. And then a level 6, 25% of physical hit rate, and hey, yeah, 20% of damage still using the skill. Here you go. So crank this one to the max. It is very, very worthwhile because while well, Yoshitsune may have fallen out of favor in PvP, he is a PvE god. And this skill is largely the result of that. As for his archetype skill, I've got him Psychic with Fizz Amp. And he's got some pretty decent archetype skills. And we will get to those eventually. 25% of physical damage. You know the value of that. I know the value of that. So we're moving on. And for his transferables, I gave him Butcher, which is 20%. Yes, 20% skills that target all the random enemies, making his Hasutobi even more lethal and epitome of carnage 20 percent to critical hit rate plus 15 percent of physical damage if you can get some form of critical hit rate boost on him because he'll use hasutobi eight attacks right first and foremost you want to make sure your accuracy is up to snuff so all those attacks hit second if you can get at least one critical hit in those eight attacks you got the half prester so it is very very useful to have him with a decent enough critical hit rate so at least one of one out of eight attacks crits and that's very very manageable with this passive skill alone he's pretty much he's pretty much gonna gonna crit at least at least one time in those eight hasutobi strikes and another transferable you want to consider which is also one of his archetype skills is charge a charged up Hasutobi against a single enemy is utterly devastating. I have used this tactic in many, many Kiwamis in the past. I was using this for the majority of my climb of Orogate 2. It is insanely effective, especially if you pair him with Templar Dragon, who boosts that charge damage even more. You can be hitting for... Uh, you can go skywards. You can get 20,000 damage off of one Hasutobi charged up strike if you got him built right now that's top tier now where every one of his hits is striking for 2500 damage but that's ideal circumstances Rakunda's on the enemy Tarukaja's on you your Yoshi's pimped out to the extreme and it, it it's possible this is what you can accomplish with a charged Hasutobi your results may vary like I said this is High end, top tier, you took him to the max. But that is what he is capable of. I think I have some older Kiwami videos using this strategy, and I will link them down below if and they actually exist, and I can and I actually can find them. As for brands, war brands, ward brands. If you are putting a demon as your support demon. Give him ward brands. Just do it. If you don't want to do that, put a different demon as your support demon and give them ward brands. Just common courtesy. A ton of the EXP leveling quests have stat debuffs that can bork up an auto run. Just give him ward brands. It's, it's common courtesy at this point. I would say it's a requirement for your support demons. And I've got him with the war brands, obviously, so he can heavy hit like a heavy hitter should. As for the spirit panels, he's got some. 
Oh, does he got some of the best. Panel 1, 15% of physical hit rate. And when your primary attack is 8 physical attacks, this is invaluable. You have to have his accuracy through the roof. Else, Hasutobi is going to cause you some major headaches. His second panel, probably his best panel, just plus 5 to maximum MP. Now, this allows you to Hasutobi three times in a row. With war, with war brands, okay? And then if you slap on divine brands, you can, uh, yeah, I don't know the math, but you can probably do four in a row with divine brands on them. I believe it's four in a row with divine brands, but everything will be dead before you get to that fourth one. So war brands, plus five to max MP, Hasutobi, or Vorpal Blade, or Vorpal Blade, three times in a row, fantastic, and again, making him great as a support team. And that mana aid just giving him all his MP back. Every wave means he just shreds, 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 fight over. All three waves. Boom, boom, boom. He knocks him right out. Fantastic stuff. I would recommend going for this off rip just because of the utility of it. Even more so than the panel one physical hit rate because you can buoy his physical hit rate in other places. You can't get more maximum MP anywhere else folks well i mean there's a skill or two that'll give you one or two extra maximum mp some passive skills you can transfer but that doesn't give you the what you want it doesn't give that plus five so i would say go for panel two off off rip and for panel three plus 25 percent damage to attacks that target all or random enemies and piling that on with butcher 20 percent damage epitome of carnage another 15 percent damage fizz amp another 25 percent damage hasu toby fully leveled 20 percent damage yep that's what can happen and that's why he can smack for over 20,000 on a single target again that is the caveat you have to have a single target for him to hasu toby into oblivion and it is wonderful when it happens and before we wrap up as usual we will check out the other archetype skills because they are something to think about dun, 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 Yoshi. there's our boy and for the big loser the origami archetype gigantomachia inflicts physical damage on all enemies with a power of 160. okay great i mean He's got Vorpal Blade, which is 140, you know, slightly less, but again, no pierce effect, meaning this is just, in a way, a, re a very redundant skill for him to have. Because, like, yeah, you got Vorpal Blade. If you really want to sweep all the enemy, you got Vorpal Blade. Not as powerful as this, but you got Vorpal Blade. So I would say hard pass on Origami for his protector archetype. Charge. <laughs> uh... <laughs> As I mentioned before, a charge up Yoshi is a sight to behold. And if you have it in the archetype skill, you get minus one MP, dropping its cost from six to five. But here's the thing. Even with war brands, you can charge and then do Hasutobi immediately, even if you've got a basic bitch, unpaneled Yoshitsune. So this... While it does give you that minus one MP for the charge, charge is easy enough to transfer. And you can do the double tap charge Hasutobi without the minus one MP reduction here. But still, if you got to charge Yoshi, if you like that strategy, hey, why not? You can transfer other damage boosting passives onto him as you see fit. And all you got to know is, hey, Hasutobi costs seven MP. Right, charge costs six. You got 10 MP, drop a Hasutobi, drop down to three. It's his turn comes up, he gets another three MP, he's back to six. Charge costs six. Right, oh, I reversed the order there. You charge for six, then get back seven, then hit with the Hasutobi. Probably much better stratagem, but that's where it is. This, hey, if you like it, if you, it's a great strategy, can't knock it. The Psychic Archetype Fizz Amp, we discussed 25% damage, never anything to sneeze at. And the Elementalist Archetype Drain Fizz, which is probably the best 
elementalist archetype you can get, draining physical attacks, is highly useful in PvE, less so in PvP, but it is there. And when Rama first came out, way, way back when, years ago, there were plenty of Yoshitsune Rama team-ups where they had Yoshi and the Elementalist Archetype shutting down those physical attacks. So there is something to be said about that. And now we've got Demiurge, though I've never once seen a Yoshitsune-Demiurge combo, just because, again, Yoshitsune's viability in PvP has dwindled. But, but, everybody's getting panel fours. It's coming. It's only a matter of time. It's already begun. So who knows what the future has in store for this noble samurai warrior. And that will about wrap it up for this intense discussion on an OG demon who many people, many people still consider to be the best of the beast. Have a good one, Liberators. Don't get captured.